Welcome again to today's lesson. We're going to be checking complex numbers and uh, that is next revision. So kindly remember to subscribe, share and also comment how these lessons are being helpful to you and kindly share widely to your fellow colleagues to help them in terms of revision. Now, so we have a question here from uh, October November series, that is 2022. Uh, so given that Z1 equals to 2 minus 3J, Z2 is given by 3 plus 4J, then Z3 is given by 4 plus J, Express Z in terms of A plus J, uh, A plus J, B. If 1 over Z is given by 1 over Z1 plus 1 over Z2 plus 1 over Z3. So in the October series, November, October, November series, we have this question. We are supposed to express Z in the form of A plus J, B. And we are given if 1 over Z equals to 1 over Z1 plus 1 over Z2 plus 1 over Z3. Add to three decimal place. So the solution. So you can do this question in two ways. So we are going to look at one, then I shall explain the second way of doing it, and you can give it a try. Right now, so we have this part. So we know one over z is given by one over z one. So therefore, one over z. So I'll be using the z with a, with a stroke so that you can differentiate between a two and a z. So it's given by 1 over Z1. What is our Z1? So it is given by 1 over Z1 is 2 minus 3J. Then plus um, 1 over Z2 is 3 plus 4J. Then plus uh, the last one is 1 over 4 plus J. So this is just an expression. So 1 over Z will be given by this. Now, in this formula here, we're going to be uh, applying something that we learned in the previous lesson, and that is involving the conjugates, right? So we shall split this term, each and every term here, with, uh, with respect to its conjugate. So we shall have 1 over z1. Now splitting 1 over z1. So we shall have 2 plus 3, uh, minus 3j. Um, so minus 3j. So multiply it by its conjugate. So we are using it by removing the complex numbers at the denominator, right? So this one will give us, so multiply by the conjugate, what will be the conjugate? 2 plus 3j. So multiply by 2 plus 3j over 2 plus 3j. And what do we know? So this will be 1 times the whole of this, which will just be 2 plus 3j all over we say when you multiply a number by its conjugate, it gives you a squared plus b squared. So what is our a squared? Which is our 2 squared, 2 squared plus, then our b is 3, so 3 squared, which will give us 2 plus 3j, then all over, uh, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9. So 4 plus 9 will give us what? It will give us, will give us 13. So we shall have 1 plus 3, uh, 1 over 3 plus that. Then again, multiplying by its conjugate, it should be 3 minus 4j over 3 minus 4j, right? Which will just give us 3 minus 4j all over a squared is 3 squared, then uh, b squared is 4 squared, right? So 4 squared, which again gives us 3 minus 4j all over 3 squared is 9. Uh, 4 squared is 16. So what is 9 plus 16? It will give you 20. It will give you 25. Then the last one is 1 over 4 plus j. Multiply by its conjugate, which will be 4 minus j. And also here we have 4 minus, minus j. So we shall have 4 minus j. Then 4 squared plus 1 squared, which will give us 4 minus j all over, uh, 4 squared is 16, 16 plus 1 will give you 17. So all these terms here, so this term here will uh, narrow down to become this, this one will become this, and this will become this. So now, now here you can also split these numbers in terms of the real part and imaginary part, so you can have 2 over 13 plus 3 all over 13, then you have j. This one also you can have 3 all over 25 minus 4 over 25 then you have j. Then the last one you can have 
4 over 17 minus 1 over 17, then you have J, alright? So you can split them into real and imaginary parts. So that when you put them here, you shall put them in terms of real and imaginary, so that you can add the real together and imaginary together. So therefore, we can redefine this, we have 1 over Z, alright? will be given by the first part now becomes this right together. So we shall have 2 over 13 plus then 3 all over 13 J. Then plus the second one, which will be given by this. So again plus uh, 3 all over 25, then minus 4 over 25, then what? Then J. Then we have the last part, which will now become, so we shall have uh, plus 4 over 17 minus 1 over 17 then then J. Now, if we check all these numbers at the denominator, they are all uh, whole numbers. So you can as well, so you can do this, add the real parts first and the, also the imaginary parts together. So we have 2 over 13 plus two, uh, 3 over 25 plus 4 over 17, those are the real parts. So we have 2 all over 13, then you add uh, 3 over 25, uh, then you add plus, uh, plus 4 over 17, over 17, that will give you, uh, so 1 over z will become uh, 28, 13 all over uh, 5, 5, uh, 2, 5, right? Then the imaginary parts, so we shall have again 3 over 13, right? Then we have minus 4 over 25, okay? Then minus 1 over 1 over 17. So this will give you, so it will be a positive of 66 all over 5, 5, 2, Five, then we have what? Then we have J. Now you can see that the denominator is just the same, right? So we can just again put this in terms uh, together because remember our value here is one over Z. But what do we want? We want the value of the value of Z. So we can still return this into one denominator because it is the same. So this one over Z is the same as saying uh, 28, 13, then plus 66 J. Then all over uh, 5, 5, 2, uh, 5, 5, 2, 5. So you can have that. That is 1, 1 over z. So therefore, what will be our z? We reciprocate. So our z will be given by 2, 8, 1, 3. No, sorry, sorry for that. So we are doing the reciprocal. So therefore, we shall have uh, 5, 5, 2, 5. All over 28, 13, then plus 66, uh, 66 J. All right, that will be a Z. Now remember again, the complex part is in the denominator, so we multiply again by the conjugate. It will be 28, 13 uh, minus 66 J, and we also do the same 28, 13 minus 66 J. So this one again, you know, to simplify by. So it will be this term multiplied by the whole of this. So we shall have uh, 55, 25 multiplied by 28, uh, 13, which will give us, all right, it's a big number. So it will be 1, 5, 5, uh, 4, 1, uh, 8, 2, 5, then 55, 25, so 55, 2, 5, then you multiply by 66. Uh, to give you a negative of 36, uh, or then we have 6, 5, 0. Now the denominator, in our case here, would just be this squared plus this squared. So 28, 28, 13, then squared will give us, 28, 13 will give us 79, okay, 1, 2, 9. Uh, 79, 12969, then plus 66 squared, which will give us for 
three, five, six. So, so uh, the denominator therefore will give us. So we have uh, seventy nine, one, two, uh, nine, six, nine plus uh, forty three, fifty six. So we have that. So basically, we can still split this. Um, since we have a common, we shall have a common denominator. We can have the real parts uh, in one part, then the imaginary parts in one part. So we shall have one five five one eight two five all over. So we shall have seven nine one seven then three two five. So we have that. Then minus three six four six five zero. Also under the same denominator, so it is. Seven nine one seven three two five and half. We have our J. So dividing that part, so we shall have one five five uh, one eight two five divided by the answer. We shall get um, there's a four here. Sorry, there's a four. We have the answer for one. Thank you. So we shall have one five five uh, four one eight two five divided by uh, seven nine one seven uh, three two five. We shall get our answer now to three decimal places. We shall have one point nine six. Then this will be three. Then this part minus. So we have thirty six uh, four six. Five zero, then divide by seven nine one seven, then uh, three two five, and that will be minus. So we have a negative zero point zero four six at uh, three decimal places. Then we have what? Our j. So therefore, your z, your z, in the form of a plus. Uh, B J or J B will be given by this. So you can just if you change, you can just have your J here. There's no harm. So you have that. So you have your A, then J, then you have your what? Then you have your B. So this question uh, will be solved uh, through that method. And you're saying you can have another way of just solving it, and uh, you still get the same same answer. So I can guide you through so that you can uh, try it out and see. If it really gives you the same same answer that we have, we have there. So let's uh, have this. So let me get it through how you're going to solve another way of solving it. You have one over z given by these terms on this other side. So you can take the um, you can take the LCM of these three uh, terms. So if we have one over z is given by one over z one one over z two one over z three. Now, as long as remember these three terms are not the same, so you cannot assume they are the same because we can uh, we can already see that indeed the uh, the complex numbers are not the same. So, what will be the LCM of Z1, Z2, and Z3? Just be the multiplication of the three. So, the multiplication of that will be given by the Z1, Z2, Z what? Uh, Z3. So that is the LCM. Now we start with the first term. The first term goes here Z1. Then you remain with what? Z2, Z3. So you have Z2, then you have Z3. Then plus. This one will go here this time, so you remain with Z1, Z2. So Z1, Z2. No, Z1, Z3. Z1, Z3. Then plus. This one goes here this time, so you remain with Z1, Z2. So Z1, Z2. <coughs> so you just have that. So by the end of the day, you will find all these terms. So you will find Z1 multiplied by Z2. I think we did multiplication, so you shall have that. Z1, Z3, you multiply. Z1, Z2, you multiply. Then you multiply Z1, Z2, and Z, and Z3. So by the end of the day, and the denominator, you're going to have a complex number, and you'll have a co another complex number in the, in the numerator. Uh, in the numerator, okay? Then the answer that you get you shall find again the conjugate of it and you shall have your answer but remember that will be uh, that will be uh, that will be one over z so again we just reciprocate for you to get the value for z 
So that's another way you can just try it out and see how this one uh, gives you. But by the end of the day, it should give you one and the same answer. So this one wraps up uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division uh, of complex numbers. So in the next lesson, in terms of revision, we shall check a question that are, uh, that applies the Demovers theorem. So kindly remember to tune in, remember to share, remember to subscribe, and also comment on how these lessons have been helpful to you. So see you in the next lesson.